something for myself. We first met Kay Simmons and Sam Garrett at the end of June on their first day of medical school at EVMS. Back then, the two, like the rest of their class, were ecstatic about the prospects of entering med school. But after several weeks of hitting the books, some of the initial excitement has worn off. Well, I'm not as excited as I was anymore. I'm a little bit more realistic about things. I see what I have to do. Well, I knew it was going to be hard, you know, beforehand. And uh, really, these last few weeks have just borne that out, more or less. Both Kay and Sam say the amount of information that a medical student has to learn is mind-boggling. I mean, right before tests, say about three weeks before tests, it just gets to the point that that is all you do. Even when you're eating, you're looking at a book, you know, trying to cram some more information into your head. I've spent the night at the school before <laughs> in my little study carol in the back. Rather than go home and wake everybody up and disrupt the entire household, I just study until I get so sleepy that my head falls into my textbook and I just stay here until the next morning. But learning to be a doctor is more than just book work because medicine isn't a theoretical science. It's a hands-on craft. And that's how it's taught. These students learning and doing now what they'll do later on as physicians. And working in the lab, doing the things they'll do as physicians really gets the students up. And when we have our physical diagnosis classes and we take each other's blood pressure, you, you realize how excited you are when you do what I do. I did. You run home and you take your mom's blood pressure, your dad's blood pressure, try to take the cat's blood pressure. <laughs> That's really helped to, to keep my interest up, whereas the book, book work is interesting, but it can get you bogged down, you know. But despite all the work and the studying, Sam and Kay still feel they've made the right choice and they say they're glad they're in med school. And everybody complains about the amount of work we have to do, but you can ask anyone what would they rather be doing and, and you know, there's nothing that anyone would rather be doing. Besides learning an enormous amount of material, working constantly in the lab, and putting in endless hours of study, all med students share one other common experience, and that's depression. You can get pretty low here because sometimes the work will just overwhelm you. It, you do get depressed about it. You know, you don't get to go out, you don't get to date as much as you used to, or in my case, not at all. <laughs> Both students say the support system EVMS sets up, though, helps them cope with the depression that can sink in after a day in class or in the lab. Kay says she gets a lot of encouragement from friends in the class ahead of her. And they remember what it was like, and they can tell me, I made it through, you can make it through. While Sam copes with depression through discussion groups he attends. When you've been studying so much, you know, like for weeks and weeks, and that's all you've been doing, it just helps to get together you know, with some other people and talk about it, you know, how you're feeling. You have to Both agree that the depression and self-doubt might be a good thing. I just think that it's healthy for you to realize that you're still a human being. You, you can't play God, but you can try to do your best. That, that's all you can do. But still, sometimes yeah, everything becomes to overwhelming. It's happened to me. I've gotten just totally uh, fed up with the whole situation. But despite the pressures, the students hang in there. And you just hope that you'll be able to do that very well one day when they let you out of here with your little diploma to go practice medicine. Our first year med students are now knee deep in their basic science courses. We'll check in in about eight weeks or so when they should be up to their shoulders in work, elation, and perhaps even a little depression as they go down that long road that one must travel to make the transition from med student to physician. Mike Deason, Area 10 Eyewitness News at the Eastern Virginia Medical School in Norfolk.